My name is David Lynch. Welcome to the convention. In 1975, it was voted the greatest science fiction novel of all time. Now, Universal Pictures and Dino De Laurentiis present author Frank Herbert's epic story of survival and adventure, a story set on the vast desert planet Arrakis, a world also known as... Dune. Slate one, take one. It was just like a dream come true. Beautiful, beautiful. I loved working on Dune. It was great. Didn't lift anything heavier than a beer bottle. <laughs> on Dune, that was a great difference. But the sheer size of the film was to provide Lynch with his greatest challenge to date. Dune was such an unbelievable project. It was so huge. And, and you know, so many people involved. I don't think Lynch could really believe that he was in charge of all this. On locations in Mexico City and in the vast deserts of the Southwest, Writer-director David Lynch and producer Rafaela De Laurentiis are involved with the complex and difficult task of bringing Dune to the screen. Hold it. Stay at John. You know, 2,500 people in costume on this thing, and, you know, and, and we, we walked in for this uh, rehearsal, and, and it was the first time I'd ever seen this particular set and these people, and I, 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 I just cracked up. I mean, sometimes Lynch and I would look at each other and, and, and crack up, laughing. With over 70 sets, 4,000 costumes, and a crew of 600, Dune is one of the most lavish science fiction films of our times. Yet it retains a unique personal vision, an unparalleled marriage of Lynch's vivid imagery to a story that has inspired four sequels and fascinated 12 million readers worldwide. Well, it taught me a lot uh, um, making Dune. I started, I think, looking back on it, I realized I started selling out uh, on the project right from the very beginning because I didn't have final cut. I knew the people I was working with, and, and I, I sort of, again, in, you know, this intuition thing was working uh, with them, sort of uh, feeling what they wanted the film to be like and knowing how far I could drift off that to be the make it the way I wanted to uh, it to be and it's ended up being a kind of a compromise and um, it just uh, you know it just doesn't you know work out so well when, when that happens I think that Dune was probably the first and last time that much money will be spent on a project around or by David after Dune was released and the cut was what it was, um, he'll probably tell you this too, I mean, he died a thousand deaths, a thousand deaths, again and again and again. I was, uh, you know, beaten down badly after, you know, Dune, and um, I had, I, in my mind, nowhere, you know, further to fall. Mm -hmm. 